Jin here and welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome. And I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. Before I get started, go ahead and do me a favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So in case you can't tell by the outfit, the look, and the name of the video, I am starting a new series on my channel and I'm going to be creating looks inspired by the Harry Potter houses. And I started the series off with Gryffindor because it is the most recognized and easily purchased products, unfortunately. Um, hence why I am currently wearing a Gryffindor sweater. So, so it has, it, it's been a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, a lot has changed since last time I recorded and uploaded. For one, my hair, I'm blonde. Um, I was blonde back in 2016 for a little bit, and now I decided to go back to it. Um, I'm liking it. I mean, I'm getting used to it. It's different. It's different. <laughs> so, and also another really cool thing that happened during my time off, I got another tattoo. I know some people don't like tattoos, and some do, but I love tattoos. So, let me go ahead and show you the tattoo I got. So, this is my tattoo. It is of a kitty stretched out in the shape of a moon. You can't really see it very well on camera, but there's actually a moon behind the cat as well, and there's stars. Yeah, it's still healing, so it is peeling still. I mean, it's only a week old. I got it done last Friday, so it is still peeling, but it's beautiful. I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video, and for this video, I am using my Storybook Cosmetics Witchcraft and or wizardry and witchcraft palette. I love this palette. It is super pigmented If you have not ever used this palette, you're missing out. I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using sorcerer Bewitched and charms So yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys this palette I don't think I've ever used it on camera yet. So this is gonna be exciting and I'm also gonna be using the tried and true James Charles palette as well. I will let you guys know at the very end, I was not very happy with some of the payoff for this look. I was wanting it to be a little bit more red, but we'll get into that at the very end. Anyways, <laughs> so enough of my rambling. I've just missed talking to you guys. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, so I got my hair pulled back. I'm gonna go ahead and start by applying my base. And of course, I'm gonna be using the P. Louise base. All right, so now that I have it generously applied the P. Louise, I'm going to jump into the James Charles palette. And I'm going to jump into literally in 518. And these two are gonna go right into the crease. And for this, I'm going to be using R39 by Morph. Okay, so this is going to go into the crease and we're going to kind of build it up so it's nice and dark and again we are just going to pat it in so this is kind of too pink and corally i really want it to be more of a darker orange or darker red so i'm going to hop into mary which is this one right here and i'm going to add that into the crease to kind of darken it up a little bit So, I'm an idiot, ignore me. The shades I used on my lid are, you're kidding and rusted, not literally in 518 because literally is shiny. So now I'm going to jump into 518, which is that bright orange. And then this we're going to go right above where the red is at. But I am really worried it's just gonna blend into it and not do what I want it to do. I'm gonna blend that into the red. I mean, it's not bad. It did blend. I have that little orange grade into it, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Okay, not bad. I'm kind of feeling it. So now I'm going to take this Echo Tools blending brush and I'm going to pick up the Storybook Cosmetics and we are going to jump into, I think it says Sorcerer. So it's a really pretty metallic red. And we're gonna blend this into the crease and onto the outer corner of the lid. Yeah. 
So we're also gonna take it and we're gonna put it on the outer corner of your lid and blend it up and over. That is gorgeous. I really hope you guys can see this color payoff. Like, if you've never gotten this palette and you've always thought about it, I honestly highly, highly suggest this palette. So, I'm going to catch this eye up to the side. Because <laughs> I'm a little behind, aren't I? Don't you hate when one eye looks so much better than the other? So, I'm going to take a clean brush, and this is R40. And I'm just going to buff off the edges up here. To buff out the edges up here so it's a little bit cleaner. All right, so now it is time to do a half cut crease. You know, guys, I love my cut creases. I do them all the time. I, I really need to branch out and do something different. I think for the next video, I'm going to do something I've never done before or at least attempt to. And I'm going to take R43 from Morph, which is a flat brush. And I'm going to do a half cut crease. So now I am going to pick up Charms, which is this pale, like kind of a neutral shade. And this is just going to go right where we cut the crease at. And I'm going to use R34 and just kind of put that in there to get this ready for what we're going to do next. So now I'm going to touch up the red on the lid. And for that, I'm going to be using R39. And I'm going to jump back into Sorcerer. And we're just going to blend that into our bottom lid and where we put charms at. So this is where I'm kind of like, do I want to put down glitter glue or do I just want to let the glitter do its thing? I think I'm just going to let it do its own thing. So we need two complementing gold shades so i definitely want to use bewitched in this palette which is that one right there it's such a pretty pretty gold so i really 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 want to use that one and it's really really like fine finely pressed so it's super super soft so i want to find a gold in this palette that's going to complement it while still not like completely stealing the show so that is, if you guys can see that, that is Bewitched, which is just like a very, very pretty, pretty gold. So this is Wig, which I mean, that's not bad, but they're kind of really close to each other. So then this is, let's do it up here. So good. I think I'm gonna do so good. Because it's like right in the middle. Let me get another swatch of that one just so you can see it better. So I think I'm gonna go with So Good, which is the top shade. Why my husband does not text me all day when he's at work, but when he knows I'm filming, suddenly he wants to text me and talk. I'm kidding, I love my husband. All right, so I'm going to take this flat brush and this is actually from Storybook Cosmetics themselves. And because Bewitched is that darker gold, I'm gonna use that one first. And there is a lot of kick up with this shade, so be warned. Start with this one right next to the red. And we're gonna kind of blend it in, but we're not trying to go past our crease that we put in. So it really sucks because I love the quality of their shadows in this palette, but I'm not a big fan of their brushes, so. so I'm gonna use a different brush because I'm just, you know, look at the difference it made using a different brush. So now I'm going to jump into So Good, which is, oop, I can find, like this gold champagne color. And this is going into our, the bottom, the last of the inner lid. We're gonna blend those two golds together. All right, I'm loving it. 
looking so pretty. All right, so let's blend a little bit of that red back into it just so that there is a nice little blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my face and all that and I'll be right back to finish the look. All right, so I went ahead and put on some of my lashes and I put on Ardell lashes. Um, these are Demi Wisps. I'm gonna buy some new lashes this weekend but I have this pack I'm still going through. And then I also went ahead and put a little bit of Sorcerer on my um, waterline and it's actually sticking so. And if you are wondering, my lips are a combination of grunge lippy liner from, or lippy pencil from ColourPop. Where did I put my lipstick? <laughs> and also 1995 from Gerard Cosmetics and Candy Apple from Gerard Cosmetics. If you are interested in checking out the Gerard Cosmetics, I have my affiliate link down below. And you can also use my discount code to get you guys off a, I think it's like 20 or 30% off your order. So link is in the description box down below. So now to finish this look, I'm going to put some color underneath my eyes. And because I kind of want it to blend with the color I already put on my waterline, I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up R39 and I'm going to dip into Sorcerer. I'm going to dip into the Storybook Cosmetics palette and I'm going to pick up Sorcerer and this is going to go on my bottom lid line. And we're just going to smudge this right here. And I did not put on any liquid liner because I feel like this look doesn't need a liner. So I'm really loving how this looks. Like, I feel like this is the perfect Gryffindor look. I do really wish that, um, you're kidding me, was a bit more red. As you can see, it is more of like a corally light red, almost a pinkish red, if that makes sense. I really wish it was a darker red, but it works. Like, it got the job done. I did darken it up a bit with Sorcerer, and I wish it was a lot more dark red up here. But I I think it looks good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy with the look. If you guys like the look, let me know down below if you like it. If you don't, what would you change? What would you do different? Um, comment down below what house you'd like to see next. Do you want me to do a Hufflepuff look or Slytherin or Ravenclaw? And Ravenclaw is my favorite, so I hope you guys say Ravenclaw. So with that, I'm going to get going. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos and I do not have an upload schedule. I am just kind of uploading whenever. I'm really sorry that may annoy some of you, but I'm not going to be uploading a look unless I'm feeling it and I don't want to have a schedule where I feel like I have to upload on this day. I can guarantee at least one video a week, but other than that, I'm not going to push myself and try to do more than that to the point where I feel like I'm overworking myself. So yeah. Sorry, not really sorry, because I just, I want to have fun doing my channel. So yeah, that is the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time I throw all